Okay, cool. So these are a few general rules that, uh, you know, I think that everyone should know and, and be aware of. Um, so I just thought I'd share them with you. Avoid draw pointers. Don't use objects after they've been moved. Avoid leading underscores and in, in identifiers. And beware potentially catastrophic results of impromptu type declarations from embedded elaborated type specifiers. See how types are declared in the vector and the function arguments. Don't do that. Um, really, those are elaborated type specifiers and they can be very problematic. This syntax came from C compatibility and it shows up in strange places in C++ grammar and is best avoided when possible. Declaring your types before you use them is much safer code. No surprises, no gotchas, and it does what you think. Elaborated type specifiers will do a name lookup and only declare a new type if one was not found. This is the exact same vector as written before, but the presence of the global foo changes its meaning. So why do I bring this up? I thought about calling this type or this talk, your tags are probably broken. This is a typical way we declare strong types with elaborated type specifiers for the tags. Uh, that would be the price tag and quantity tag here. Uh, but I think that should stop. When code seems to work and has a nice syntax and is in widespread use, it propagates and is assumed to be perfectly fine, even when it isn't. Trusted code can be treacherous when it has subtle bugs because it's least suspected. But this is unreliable. Please do this instead. The extra line is worth it. In comparison, this code always works and has no drawbacks. But also consider enum classes uh, as a really safe alternative for strong types. Here, the elaborated type specifier declaring price tag inside namespace B actually refers to the global name found by name lookup. The two prices are the same type because they use the same tag and the assertion fails. Here we have two scopes, both declaring strong types for price. However, once again, they are the same. What's going on here? A injects price tag into the global namespace and B finds that injected name and reuses it. So here, main calls process, passing in a price from namespace B. Since price names, a type that's connected to namespace B through the price tag, and template arguments affect ADL, the unqualified call to process selects the one in namespace B as it's a perfect match. This code is identical to before, except for the first line, which we can imagine is added to, um, added to this translation unit by some unrelated header called stuff.hpp that someone else included before us. But it changes everything. In namespace B, now the strong type specialization uses the global tag and has no connection to namespace B. The name price does, but the type to which it refers does not. For the call to process, uh, this time, ADL has no reason to look in namespace B, and now the global process is called instead. Our type has changed, our lookup has changed, and our behavior has changed. Note, this is affecting code that uses the strong type. Now imagine we have two CPP files separately compiled. Both include our problematic strong type, but only foo includes stuff.hpp. So it will uh, get the global declaration of price tag. The result is that price in namespace B has a different definition in the two files because each uses a different tag. This is a classic ODR violation resulting in undefined behavior and long debugging sessions. So do this and B protects itself from surrounding code and will not change in meaning even in the presence of other declarations. This one extra line is all it takes. And as far as functions go, f takes either a pointer to foo in the global namespace or a foo in the b namespace, depending on its surrounding context. At least in this case, accidental overloading is not an ODR issue. 
So in summary, elaborated type specifier declarations can result in a lot of problems. And uh, though it has shorter syntax, I don't think it's worth it. So just say no. Prefer strong types that don't use tags. But if you must use tags, declare them separately and tell your friends. Thank you.